Let's talk about the New England Patriots. Two losses in a row. They lost in heartbreaking fashion to the Seattle Seahawks last week, 23-20. to Now you look at what just happened against the New York Jets. And they let Drake May come in late in the fourth quarter. And he did give the offense some life. I'm saying this from a place of respect. Jacoby Brissett is not a good starting quarterback from week to week. But he is still the best quarterback option for the Patriots. And I'm going to tell you why. Drake May is going to be the franchise quarterback. That's what the Patriots are hoping for. We saw the same song and dance a couple of years ago when they selected Mac Jones in the first round. They pushed him out there as a rookie. He had some solid moments, but he was a turnover machine. They made the NFL playoffs when he was a rookie. After that, he got worse season after season. I think the Patriots right now, their offense is just completely terrible. Their leading receiver is a tight end in Hunter Henry. And no disrespect to Hunter Henry. He's a very good football player. But when you have wide receivers like Demario Douglas, K.J. Osborne, and Jalen Polk, who is a rookie, no one should be put into this situation but a starting veteran quarterback that is a bridge quarterback. Now, at this stage of his career, Jacoby Brissett, he is what he is. He isn't going to get you over the hump. He isn't going to go out there and single-handedly cost you football games. He is not going to elevate the talent around him either. Jacoby Brissett, it is what it is. He's a backup quarterback at best, but when you look at Drake May, you do not want to ruin this kid's potential long-term by putting him out there into this dumpster fire. The Patriots are not a good team right now. So why would you put your rookie quarterback into this situation when you can call irreversible damage and build on bad habits? That is something you don't want to do. And all the analysts and all the experts were saying that Drake May had a long ways to go in terms of his footwork and his processing. I can tell you right now, if you put this kid out there from week to week for the rest of the season, he's going to struggle immensely. Unless you go out there and make a major trade to bring in a number one wide receiver and to bring in better offensive linemen. Now, their offensive line is beat to hell right now with injuries. Cole Strange is out right now, and he's one of their better offensive linemen. But you look at what the New York Jets just did against Jacoby Brissett. You put Drake May in for that full game, it may have been even worse. Jacob Brissett can't push the ball deep down the field because the wide receivers can't get open. The strength of the Patriots right now is their run game because the wide receivers can't beat press and they can't beat cover two high safety. It's that simple. They only scored three points against the, against the New York Jets and you know what? That's okay. Jacob Brissett got sacked five times. Drake May got sacked twice. And he was in for a limited amount of action. He was 4 of 8 for 22 passing yards. Jacob Brissett was 12 of 18 for 98 passing yards. It's okay to let the rookie sit and let Jacoby Brissett go out there and let him fill out the process with the players that they have. Jalen Polk is a rookie. He will benefit from playing with a guy like Jacoby Brissett who has been on multiple teams at this stage of his career. He got drafted by the Patriots. Then he went to the Indianapolis Colts. Then he went to the Washington Commanders. Now he's back home with the Patriots. He knows that he's not a long-term starter, so does Coach Mayo. But don't put the kid out there into this terrible situation. If the if they had better playmakers like a Jordan Addison or a Justin Jefferson, then you could possibly push him out there. But the NFL is so different from college. And many of you guys know this. The national media right now, they're already saying, just put Drake May, Drake May out there. Look at what's going on with Caleb Williams right now. He is struggling immensely. Jaden Daniels, look like he looks like the best rookie starting quarterback so far, but he's running around a lot. They may be causing damage with him. If he doesn't learn how to protect himself outside the pocket. We also look at Bo Nix and the situation with the Denver Broncos is not pretty. Don't panic here. They're one and two. That's okay. You defeated the Cincinnati Bengals in the first game of this season. That was a very good win. The defense, they have some very good football players, even without Matthew Judon. They traded him to the Atlanta Falcons. Keon White leaves the team leads the team in sacks. You want to see more out of Josh Uche. You gave him a contract extension. A couple of years ago, for a reason, he has to be better long term. You also look at Christian Gonzalez, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. You're missing Jawan Bentley. He's going to miss pretty much the rest of this season dealing with injury. That's a very good linebacker to have in that interior. You have Jonathan Jones as well, solid cornerback. Jabril Peppers is a very good safety. He was in out of the lineup against the Jets in the Thursday night matchup dealing with an ankle injury. But we know long term, he's a very good safety to have. I just don't want to see the Patriots go out there and put this kid out there for no apparent reason. This is not a team that's ready to make a playoff push. They have not been able to make a strong playoff push for many years now. And it's not going to start with Demario Douglas being your starting number one wide receiver or KJ Osborne. And no disrespect to those guys. They have a long ways to go in their development. They haven't had a true, very good top end wide receiving core in a very long time. 
You have Hunter Henry. Let him go out there and let him do his thing. Feed Ramondre Stevenson. He has had a fumbling issue so far in the last two games against the Cincinnati Bengals and against the Seattle Seahawks, but that's okay. He's a very good running back to have, especially at the starting position. You have Antonio Gibson as well. Teams may go out there and they may get ugly. They may stack the box. And the Patriots may only win three to four games with Jacob Brissett. That's okay. They may only win two games. It depends on how the season goes. If it goes down that trajectory later in the season, then you can start Drake May. When they already have good draft position and they can draft a top wide receiver, a guy like Travis Hunter that can play both sides of the ball out of Colorado. And when you have more money going into this offseason to where you can push more players out there to help out a guy like Drake May. But I don't want to see a situation to where they push this kid out there and the national media, they're calling for him now because it gives him a bright headline to talk about. And next thing you know, when he struggles his rookie season, they'll say, okay, is he a bust? Look at what happened with Bryce Young, his rookie season. I don't want to see this happen with this kid because Drake May does have phenomenal potential coming out of Carolina. I think that he can be a top quarterback in the NFL. You don't want a repeat of what happened with Mac Jones. You want to handle this the best way possible. They butchered the Mac Jones process. Yes, he was a turnover machine. But when you have Matt Patricia calling plays, it's not going to work out. They should have put a veteran in that spot. And they had Cam Newton. And I understand that he made the NFL playoffs his rookie season. And he had Josh McDaniels as offensive coordinator. And he walked away. But at the same time, they butchered that process. This is a Patriots team. They're very impatient. Just a couple of years ago, they ran the NFL off of Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, and Julian Edelman. They didn't retire that many years ago. They didn't leave the New England Patriots that long ago. I understand that Coach Mayo, he's figuring things out as well. He's a rookie coach, which even makes more sense to push a veteran quarterback out there. I know a lot of people, they want to go out there and they want to see Drake May make their crazy throws. It's not going to be much of that if the offensive line can't go out there and protect him. Build the infrastructure first. This guy is still in a rookie contract. You can make a big-time trade to go get you a wide receiver. If you want to, go pay a guy out. They may have to go trade for a wide receiver because they tried to go get Calvin Ridley. It didn't work out. He ended up going to the Tennessee Titans. But let me know in the comment section below. Am I being too harsh on Jacob Brissett and the New England Patriots? Or should they just start Drake May right now in your opinion? Can he bring in some juice to the team within the next couple of weeks and for the rest of the season? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, want each and every last one of you guys stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.